Once you've confirmed all the basic information about the match and set the rosters, you'll, you're ready to set the lineups. You'll do that by tapping the Move Set Lineups button. This activates the court at the top of the screen. In order to select players, all I need to do is tap the position on the court that I want to put them in, and then tap the number of the player who will be in that position. You'll do this using the information from the rosters that are submitted by the coaches. When it comes to entering Liberos, I can enter one, two, or no Liberos. Let's say that I enter two Liberos, but then I, I realize that one of those shouldn't be a Libero. If I tap them and then tap the empty icon next to the last jersey number, it will clear out one of those Libero positions. I can do the same thing to replace players by tapping on their, on their number and then tapping on a replacement player. All of these things should be done prior to the beginning of the match. I'll repeat that process for the other team. For this team, I'll select two Libros. Once that's done, the next thing that I should do working my way down the screen is select the serving team. This would be based on the coin toss and the referee should have reported this information to you. Let's say that the spikers are the serving team. Let's say that the bumpers then decided to choose to switch sides. I can tap swap sides either below the, below the serving team or using the arrow icon that's on the court. Either, either one of those will switch which side of the court the teams appear on. Now it's time to select the floor captain for each team. Once that's done, I can confirm the current date and time in order to start the match. Once it's time to go, I'm going to tap the Start Match button. We're ready to go.